Hello and good morning to all my 11th grade students. This is Mrs. Schaefer and I want you to take out your graphic organizers that I sent you via email to your email addresses so you can follow along with this lesson plan that I'm about to teach you. Okay, our objectives today we are learning about Virginia history, um, which goes along with our learning objectives to select and synthesize sources. We're going to learn about different sources, to question and understand information. Okay, so information we might see in the media, versus actual historical information. We're going to evaluate propaganda, things that we actually might see in the media versus first generation sources, things that actually happened. Do those two things agree or not? Um, we're going to describe English settlements. We're going to learn about one settlement in particular. Uh, we're going to learn about people who established those settlements. And we are going to learn about some of the different cultures that basically uh, identified with those settlements. So Native American cultures and also we're going to learn about the English or European cultures. Okay? And those are from the objectives that are from the Virginia yeah, state objectives here. Does anybody have any questions about those before we get started? Okay, so today we're learning about an English settlement, one of the oldest in America, and Jamestown. If you look on your graphic organizer, you will see that, and you're right, somebody pointed out that it has an E on the end. That's the Old English spelling with the E. And that's the correct way to spell it, okay? Today we spell it without that E. We spell it without the E. Um, those of you who live in Virginia, like I do, I live about 45 minutes from Jamestown. So you might know that today there is actually the real settlement, the real, real settlement, which is now a national park. You can go there. It's not that expensive. You'll see the outlines of some of the buildings that are still left. There's some interpreters there. You'll see a lot of archeological digs. And on your graphic organizers, I have some pictures there of some things you might see. Right next to that is a museum, okay? It's expensive to get into. They have movies you can see, they have reenactors, they have fun activities, all sorts of things. When you drive past it, there's flags there, you can't miss it. A lot of people think that's the real Jamestown, and it's not. The actual place is down the road, but it's a fun place to visit if you have the money to go there. It's a real neat place to visit. You'll learn a lot, um, but I recommend seeing the actual place. Okay, so. Originally, 
In the 1500s, Jamestown was visited by the Spanish. They didn't find any gold there. They weren't impressed. Uh, they left. And I'm oversimplifying. But in 1607, and write that down in your graphic organizer, the London Company, okay, established the first permanent English colony in the New World, which was Jamestown. And the London Company was established by King James the First. So now why do you think Jamestown was named Jamestown. Where do you think they got the James from? You're right, from King James. Okay. So eventually, King James said, I don't like this royal, I don't like this London company. Uh, they were not, they were corrupt, they weren't doing things really well, they weren't handling things really well, they weren't making him money. So Jamestown became a royal colony. What does that mean? Okay, let's look at your graphic organizers again, a royal colony. Okay. That meant the king appointed a governor, one. The governor made all the laws. He made sure the king's interests were protected in Jamestown. And basically, the king got to say what happened. And this would set the stage for some things that would happen later. And as you can see, right, that's right, we'd set the stage for some problems that were to happen later. You're right. The first colonists who came over were 104 men and boys, and they were hoping to make a profit by finding gold, just like the Spanish had in other parts of America, notably in South America. That didn't happen though. Okay. So, <laughs> you're right, you wanna know more about John Smith and Pocahontas. John Smith was the leader of this group and I have some pictures there of the real John Smith and the real Pocahontas. Pictures of what they really looked like. Now you've seen some pictures, okay? Obviously in the Disney movies, right? Do John Smith and Pocahontas look anything like what they looked like? No. And some people even say that the two never had a relationship. She never actually protected him from her father. That never happened. You know, like it happened in the Disney movie. Some people say either he made that up or uh, he misunderstood an Indian ceremony. And I have listed two of the resources there, okay? But Pocahontas was a real person. So we're going to go back and we're going to have a little review about all of these things. And for now, we're going to take a break. And 
we'll stop there for today. I've talked about my 10 minutes and uh, we're going to take a little bit of a quiz on cahoots about some of the things we talked about, about Pocahontas and John Smith, the Spanish, the English colony, John Smith, and what happened. Okay, let's see how well you were paying attention. Okay, let's try right now.